All along the waters of the west coast lives a curious, playful animal. While many marine mammals keep their distance, the inquisitive and carefree nature of these individuals earned them the nickname Sea Dogs. The presence alone of something new and interesting near them will get the whole colony of California sea lions in the water, performing their signature aquatic acrobatics. The bold ones will often come in for a closer look. But when they're done with you, they'll let you know. California sea lions are survivors. The entire population was driven to the thousands in the early 1900s, but has rebounded in a big way due to the Marine Mammal Protection Act of 1972. They find refuge in rough nooks and crannies along the coast, and if you listen closely, a colony is never too far away. Sea lions are highly social, and colonies can number from the hundreds to the thousands, all crowded onto rock islands and craggy shelves. Dangerous predators lurk in the open water, so sometimes they have to get creative. Recently, however, they have been under a very different kind of threat, a microscopic one. Algae blooms. This danger, although small, has been having very large effects on the population. Generated by certain algae is the neurotoxin domoic acid, which is consumed by fish. This in turn is ingested by the sea lions with detrimental and usually irreversible effects. Animals suffering from this toxin will often distance themselves from the others, lay immobile or sway back and forth, bobbing their head and occasionally foam at the mouth until they tragically succumb to their condition. To see this once graceful and joyous animal slowly waste away is heartbreaking and unfortunately is becoming more and more common as the occurrences of algae blooms are increasing for unknown reasons. With greater efforts to study and minimize our environmental impacts, we can ensure the California sea lion and the many other animals that inhabit the Pacific coast have the best chance at a full and healthy life.